Hello, welcome to this channel. My name is Princess and this is the DLVC Singles channel. You're welcome. Our mission here is to encourage Christians to do marriage God's way with the help of God to go into marriage into Christian relationships with the help of God. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel and you like this video, you like these topics, you're very welcome to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be alerted whenever we have new videos. Without wasting any much time, today we're going to jump right in. So, so today uh, we are talking about marriage and I need to let you know that in doing God's will, it's, God never forces you. Apart from marriage, I need to tell you that you have many ways that God leads his children. It's not only in the area of marriage. God has various different ways that he leads his children in your everyday life, in career, in the choice of um, business partners, uh, what you want to study for those who are planning to go to the university, what to study, where to move to, where to settle in life. Uh, maybe you want to um, move to another country and you don't know where. Uh, you seek God's face. You ask him for guidance. You ask him for directions. You ask him because he, you, you don't know the compass of your life. He knows it all. He knows more than you do. So, we want the perfect will of God in every area of our lives. Okay? And you need to experience peace in life, especially in the area of marriage. As I said, every other area of your of our lives of your life is very important. But here we're going to be focused on marriage. In the area of marriage, you need to experience it. To experience God's will. To experience being led by God. To understand all the peace that comes with it. When it comes to marriage, you will need to trust someone to guide you. Because marriage is coming together of two imperfect people to, to start a union, a perfect union that is established by God. When I'm talking of marriage, I'm here I'm going to precisely say I'm talking of Christian marriages. You need to trust someone who knows every individual. The Bible says that God knows the heart of man and he leads, he directs the heart of men, he directs the hearts of kings. He directs people with, whithersoever he wills. God knows every individual. You don't know anybody. You don't know them. No matter how much you know your partner, the person that you think you want to marry, God knows them more than you do. And that's why you need him as your guide. Secondly, we are short-sighted. And we cannot see the future. You don't know tomorrow. You don't know what the future holds. And that's why you want to depend on God who can, on that person who, who can, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the one that knows you from the belly of your mother, the one that knows your destiny, the one that knows your future, the one that knows where you're going to be tomorrow and the day after, the one that knows whatever is going to happen to you and can help in averting it. He is the omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent God. And he's very interested in your life. He's very interested in your marriage. We are about to make mistakes as, as, as humans. Because of our humanity. Because we don't know more than what we see. We don't know more than what we, we think we perceive. We don't know more than what God allows us to know. And because of that, we are naturally bound to make mistakes but there is somebody who doesn't make a mistake i guess you know who god he does not make mistakes nothing happens in the book of god accidentally god knows about it all god knows what will happen when it will happen how it will happen so you are better off trust him trust his guidance 
trust his leading because he has seen it all. God won't force you to, to accept his will. That's why we're free moral agents. God can present somebody to you and lay it upon your heart that this is the person that you, you need to marry and that's the person that you'll spend the rest of your life with. And as myopic as we are, we think, no, that person is not the best for me. I have somebody better. But my advice for you is that God will not force you to do his will. He will leave you, but he would have told you. And so that you don't, make a regret, you don't regret your, your choice, just like the children of Israel wanted a king and God wasn't happy that they wanted a king because he was practically their own king, but they wanted to be like the children of the land, like the, their neighboring countries. They wanted a king and God gave them what they had desired and they had Saul. Was he the perfect will of God? Apparently not from what everything that happened. If God knows the end from the beginning, then somewhere, somehow, God knew that something like this was going to happen. He was not the perfect. God did not want them to even have a human king. He wanted to be their king. He wanted to be their guide. But they asked and they asked and they asked and they asked. And God gave them. There you go. So as humans, we have free moral, we are free moral agents and we have the free choice. I hope that you yield and be careful to listen to God, to listen to God's voice rather than go with your own choice. No matter how not ideal it might appear, I hope that you choose to go with what God has for you because the future is sure when you go with God in the journey of marriage. God will prepare you when you go with his will, when you pray according to his will, when you accept somebody that God has led you to marry, God will prepare you for any changes that will come along the way. God is constant. Even when everything changes, God remains constant. So he'll prepare you for whatever might come your way in, for whatever wind might blow. God will prepare you for it. And that's the reason why you need to trust him. You need to depend on the constant God, the one that is not given to change. And you can always, always be rest assured that when you follow God's perfect will, he works out everything for you. He will work out everything concerning your life. He will work out everything concerning your partner's life. He will work out every glitches that will want to come your way, both your ways. God will be with you in whatever situation that might come your way in life. Remember, Job, Satan tormented him, but he said, I know that my Redeemer leave it. As if, as if Job had the second sense to know that God was overseeing everything that was going on. He knew about it and he did not allow Satan to completely destroy and kill Job. And we know the latter end of Job, despite his sickness and his illness, Job had a good latter end, better than his beginning. Take a cue from that and don't forget that whatever you might go through, even after you've done God's will, God is still in charge. He's still in charge. He's still watching out for you. He still got, he's still got your back. When you start with him, he'll go with you through all the way. You can go to God in prayer if there are challenges because you can challenge him. The Bible says that we should challenge him with, 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 with his words. Put his words to him. Tell him that I started it with, with you. I committed this marriage into your hands. I asked you to, to bring me together with this person. I, put, I asked you to put me in contact with this person. Now look, not complaining, but bringing forth your strong reasons. God, when you bring those things before him, he takes action. Trust me, friends, he takes action. God is not the kind of person that you can bring up your strong reasons and he will jump into action and bring a solution to whatever problem that you may that may come your way that you may go through after you've married the bible says in romans chapter 8 verse 28 that all things all things work together for good to them who love the lord just believing 
every step of the way, after your marriage, during your, your courtship, as you, you're going through trying to know the will of God, just tell yourself, all things work together for good to them that love God and who are called according to His purpose. It gives peace when you follow the, the will of God. That's the last point. It gives peace. Peace like you can never imagine. Peace in the world of turmoil. Peace is not the absence of problems, but peace is that restful confidence that God is in charge, that God is in control. Peace in the midst of the ups and downs. The burden is easier to bear when you have followed God's will. When you have somebody that is helping you through the journey, it's easier to bear. I pray, my friend, that you will remember this as you pray. As you wait, seek the face of God, as you're praying, I pray that you will be patient and that God will give us an answer of peace. Be patient. Don't give up. The answer is on its way. The answer is on its way. God bless you. If you are blessed by this video, do well to subscribe. Share the video with your friends and with your loved ones. And hit the notification bell below so that you can be alerted whenever we post new videos. And leave your comments below. I like to read your comments. We love to read your comments. And there are also additions to others who will be watching this video uh, in the future. If you have any uh, testimony experiences, feel free to share. God bless you. Until next time, remain blessed. <laughs> Bye.